the Fresno State Bulldogs have secured the final spot in the second semifinal game with a 76 to 50 win over Air Force. I'm joined by head coach Justin Hudson, Nate Grimes, and Deshaun Taylor. Coach, first year head coach, surpassing a 20 win season and earning a first round bye in this tournament. Talk about the success you've had so far in your first, first year coaching. I was fortunate to inherit a great group of guys. You know, we added a couple pieces in when we got the job in the spring, and we've had a good year, but we're not satisfied. We got another tough matchup tomorrow night. The last time you played the Falcons, you lost by three at home. Today you come in and win by double digits. What was the difference in today's matchup? We were much better offensively this time. You know, last time we played great defense for the first half, but we couldn't score. And I think we executed a little bit better on offense this time, and it helped us. Nate, speaking about the success on offense that your coach mentioned, what makes you guys so successful from beyond the arc? We, but uh, the shooters work really hard, and Coach Hub pushes them, so everything falls into place. Deshaun, what can you add to that? You guys hit over 23 pointers last game, over 10 today. How are you guys able to do that? Um, well, we just have a lot of great shooters. Everybody's confident in the game. And, uh, we're going out there and showing what, we, uh, what, uh, what we're capable of doing. You today had a double-double in points and assists. How are you able to distribute to your teammates to have a successful offense? Well, well, I know I have great scorers around me, so I know I don't have to do it all by myself on the offensive end. Uh, I have great bigs as well, so I know I can get them uh, going. It'll be easier for me as well. Coach, what can you add on Taylor's success today on the court? I thought he was great. You know, all year long we've been asking him to balance scoring and, and getting other people involved, and he's done an awesome job with that, and that's why we have so many wins. I was hoping Nate would hit a three tonight, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Coach, you had over 30 points come from your bench alone. What does this say about the strength of your team, not only in your starting five, but in the members that come off the come off the bench as well? I think it shows how close a team we are, too, because Aguirre Gal, you know, came in and had 16 points tonight, and that was definitely more than he's had in a long time. But, you know, our guys tell him to stay confident. They work really hard, and we never, never know who's going to step up for us. How helpful is that in these tournament games when you have multiple games in a row and guys having to play lots of minutes? Very important. I mean, it's always about just winning the first game. We're not worried about the next game, but we, you're going to need everybody come March because mm -hmm. everybody's a good team. You guys had a lot, a lot of points scored off of turnovers as well. Nate, can you talk about how successful your defense was today in creating those opportunities? Um, preparing all, every day, every single day, ever since we um, beat San Jose. Like, you know, we broke the record, and Coach Hudson's been on us about defense now. So it's been, it's been good. It's been real good. We've been working hard. Deshaun, can you add to that and how successful your defense has been in these last few games? Well, we've seen that uh, teams were, were successful when they pressed them a lot and uh, got the ball moving, going up and down, and getting turnovers. So the, uh, that's what we prepared to do is try to press as much as we can, and we know we're good at it. So. And, Coach, looking onto your semifinal matchup tomorrow against Utah State, what are you looking forward to knowing that you've already faced this team before in the regular season? At two games, both of them, a one-point win by us and a one-point win by them. So it's going to be a tough game tomorrow. they got a very good coaching staff and, and good players, so we'll be ready. What's been the biggest difference in the two times that you have played them this season? I think a couple points. You know, I, we beat them at their place. They beat us at our place. And, you know, both games were high-scoring affairs, so mm -hmm. I think both teams are going to be looking to play a little better defense. But it's two really good teams. Nate and Deshaun, I'm going to have you both answer this. You having some veteran leadership on this team, what can you, what can you bring to your team moving into tomorrow's game? Positivity. Mm -hmm. no, just being a leader. Just uh, tell my guys we got to keep going. Okay. Um, thank you guys so much. I'm going to let you guys get ready for your preparation for tomorrow's game. Congratulations on your win today. Thank, thank you very much. Thank Thanks for having me. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the stats from today's game. The biggest difference was definitely the field goal percentage. The Fresno State Bulldogs came out hot, especially from three, hitting over 15 three-pointers tonight. They're 42% 42, 42 from beyond the arc. And while the rebounds were even, they did have 
over 30 points come off the bench that helped them secure their 76 to 50 win over Air Force. Let's take a look at the bracket as we just wrapped up our last quarterfinal, quarterfinal matchup of the day. As I mentioned earlier, Nevada and San Diego State will be playing in the first semifinal matchup starting at 6 p.m. Pacific time, then followed by Utah State and Fresno State at 8.30 p.m. Pacific time. The winner of that matchup will go on to play in the championship game on Saturday afternoon. We just wrapped up our last semifinal game. Again, the Fresno State Bulldogs secured the 76-50 to win over Air Force and clinched the final spot in the second semifinal game against Utah State. That's all from Las Vegas and the Thomas and Mack Center. Stay tuned for more coverage tomorrow afternoon.